Abhishek. Welcome to Civil Engineers Adda. So today I am going to model a circular column as asked by my one of the subscribers. So let me begin. So take select circle. So before that you can select the plane on which you uh, want to do. So let me select uh, uh, directly. Let me take this plane here. So what I'll do? Sketch here. So fine. Now uh, just make sure there's a length. So let me take the length of the column as three meter. So this is three thousand mm. Fine. So now I'll just come back to the uh, isometric view. Now just come back to the three D mode here. Okay. So now what we can do is directly select the line which you have done and uh, give it a circular shape okay so you so i have to take here this as 250 okay so fine so this is a circular column of 500 mm diameter okay so now what i'm going to do let us make this entire thing transparent fine so now let's see what we can do here best here so just off the curve now just go to the top face and uh, select the plan view so fine so we have plan view now now you select an offset command from the sketch part here select the offset curve so we have to provide the offset for uh, uh, inclusion of the cover so let me take 25 mm cover uh, sorry so we have to take 40 mm cover instead take 40 mm cover so fine so now again you have to take a cover for the reinforcing bar so i'm going to provide a 20 mm reinforcing bar so let me take this 20 mm here inside so fine so this is the cover and we have got the reinforcing bar here so now what i'm going to do now i'm just going to uh, place what i'll just go I'm going to do is i'm just going to place the reinforcement here at the four parts so uh, i'm not going to do it in a very detailed uh, part because you can place reinforcement according to your convenience uh, so let me select one more point here so let me select this at a 45 degree angle and the same thing will happen here also so already answers will take care of that so similar here it will be 135 i think or i'm getting 45 here so yeah so here also we get 45 and the same thing will come out from here as well 135 here okay fine just take an offset here the since i have selected the uh, 20 mm as the reinforcing bar let me select half of 10 t is 20 is a 10 so just make sure 10 is there here and now select the circular circle now make sure you are drawing the exact 20 mm enter so you can see the exact 20 mm bar has uh, fit into that part so similar steps have to be carried out here so which i am going to do very fastly so guys so last part here i'll just take an offset i am using a stirrup of 8 mm dia uh, so what i'll do if i take 8 mm dia here inside it will cut this reinforcing bar so just make sure take half of 8 mm that is a uh, offset take half of 4 mm uh, sorry 8 mm dia that is 4 mm just take that 8 okay so now other all parts will be not essential to us so just delete that portion so guys now you can see that uh, there is a complete plan for our reinforcing data so guys what i am going to tell you here is you select all the planes here the re main reinforcement diameter bars select them and uh, make them isometric here come to isometric view and uh, just ask the fill command to drag them down to 3000 up to 3000 mm fine 
so now you can see that uh, these are nothing but the empty ones so you can just see them if you have a plan view you can see that they are the hollow portions has been created okay so the hollow portions have been created so now i am just going to tell you to make sure to this top portion again just come back to the top portion as a plan view so already you have the circles created make sure you are uh, creating one more layer on that okay so again make sure you are selecting create a play same thing 20 mm here why i am doing this because because i want to overlap or i want to create a solid out of the hole created already here okay already i have created a hole so i want to create a solid on that okay so for that reason we do this okay so now you will be able to see me you can see that there is a portion that is uh, hidden here so just make sure how i am going to pull all of them at one stretch just select the pull command and make sure you are selecting them towards the upper side make sure that it is uh, 40 mm is the cover uh, so you can 40 plus 40 is uh, total 80 so 2000 2920 okay so 2920 should be your yeah so now what you can do okay sorry why i don't know so just make sure they are very close just let me zoom in a bit okay so to make you understand so where the bars are actually located now so i'll just uh, select hide so let us hide these bars here and make sure that each of them selected here make sure that each of the bars selected here are pulled down okay let's pull these bars down by 3000 mm okay fine so now we'll say uh, show all okay so let's see so now you can see here guys so you can just see here all the solids that is the reinforcing bars have been created here okay so this is the proof for the reinforcing bars that have been created already syrups i have selected the curve that is a line this line i have selected so you can just make sure that it is off so now i have selected this curve so for that curve region what you can make here is so you can select this curve portion now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say prepare profile and solid okay so you can see that there is already a beam profile that has come here right click so just take this down a bit circle right click edit beam profile so you can see or you can observe here that uh, it is 10 mm so make it 8 mm so make sure it changes to 8 mm here and come back to the geometry part sorry design part so so already your uh, stirrup of 8 mm has been ready it's ready okay your stirrup is ready so you can see this stirrup here now what you can do you can take your stirrup down a bit so you can go up to uh, 40 mm say just take a 40 mm yeah fine so now what you can do go for a pattern here linear pattern so linear pattern so in linear pattern you will get a layer here which will ask you the type of counts that is necessary so you can see this is one dimensional count how many counts you need 
just make sure you have 10 counts and uh, let's say the uh, spacing between the stirrups is 250 mm so just hit enter your, your direction is downward yes so make sure you are having uh, some 15 let's see i think 15 is more so make it 13 13 so make it 12 so fine down and say yes okay so fine i think this is the way you have to create a circular column with stirrups so now you might be thinking or you might be wondering so how let me have a color here so let me give a color so to make you feel like it is a stirrup okay hide this okay again uh, let me give a color here yes select all of them sorry uh, let us give them a color again same color okay so fine so you can see the stirrups the stirrup is ready the stirrup uh, skeleton is ready and now let me make show all so this let me think of making this as a concrete uh, color you can see this is a concrete color okay so so this in this way why i have made this bars uh, appear upward i have projected the bars because to make you feel that it is a column here so this is the way you have to create a circular column with circular rings so this can be even used for making piers also uh, 